Hello everyone, and welcome back once more to Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. I am the Outback Al. We're here in Victory Road, and we're doing a little bit of exploring. We want to make sure that we hit everything, because who actually wants to come back to these places uh, whenever... Oh, so it's right here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna swing up back around. We're probably... I was expecting a lot more trainers in here, but I guess not. Um, mm, that's bad. Get you out of there. Probably gonna use like some kind of rock attack because it was facing off against the flying type, which means I don't want to throw in bouncy, but I could throw in slum. I can handle it. Yep. Hit him with the surf. Alright. Plus, they got the shell bell, so they're always gonna be getting back that stuff. Alright, so we're gonna go this way, towards the exit. Mm, that looks like it's be something cool. Okay, two options. Two diverging paths. What, oh, what should we do? What should we take? Good questions all around. Uh, I'll flip a coin. Heads we go to the one in front of us, tails we go to the one below us. That sounds good, right? Tails, so we're going down. One of these should lead to something important. Just this thing. Okay, so the other one led to a Pokeball, which I want now that I don't have it. But, we're gonna fight Dingus up ahead. I guarantee it. Like, as soon as we get to the exit. Or maybe after we're at the exit, I don't know. Either way, we're keeping Bethel and front because it's like, easy switch out, and more than likely to face something, uh, like Haunter or whatever, which, um, if it tries to curse us, switch out, stop the curse. So. Yeah, or if we fly, it won't be able to hit us. Anyway, I think this just seems like a solid way to go. We can outspeed literally anything. Even if it has evolved to a Gengar. Yeah, now we can definitely outspeed anything. Right, I'm gonna give them... Give them a water. Yeah, that'd probably be enough. Yeah. yeah, that's enough. We are going to have to come back for that item at some point. It's probably like a good TM or something is what I'm thinking. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out this episode, maybe next episode, I don't know. Well, oh, bound to be one of them, right? Well, that's not so bad, actually. Can, is good against it, but... You know what? Give you something to kill. Someone with no defense to speak of. You ain't too bad. Smash that rock! Dark Halls. Who can learn Dark Halls? Ooh, that's strong. Bartholomew can learn Dark Pulse. That's a special attack. Let me take a look here. Their special attack is not bad. What do I get rid of, though? Fly is too good. U-turn is useful. Poison, Fang, 
has the possibility of adding Toxic to someone, and it's just nice to have a Poison thing on them. I could get rid of Confuse Ray. We really don't use it that much. I will think about this for a minute. Because I feel like we're, it's one of those things you only get once. It's very good. That's a tough call. I mean, since we got rid of Bite, we don't really have an option in that regard. But... Dark Pulse would be a very good attack. And again, our special attack, surprisingly, is not that different from our normal attack. You know what? Fuck it! I think that's what we're gonna do. Because here's the thing. I don't know that I'm gonna have anyone else going into the Elite Four who can learn it anyway. So... Might as well. Okay, let's get rid of Confuse Ray. As useful as it is sometimes to confuse someone, it's not always a guaranteed thing of it actually working. And we don't use that often anyway. Dark Pulse I feel like we could use quite a bit. Other ones. Shadow Claw, can I learn that? Ghost type move. Zippy Cam, that's interesting. I don't know what I would replace that with. I don't know that we need Flame Mail now that we have like Flame Thrower. What about Dragon Claw? We do need to find someone to fight the the dragons that Lance is gonna have. No one can learn that. It's unfortunate. Oh well, we'll uh we'll figure that out as as we get there. Okay, so that's the end of the road. What's over here? Check it out. Let's see what it does. Dark bows. Yeah, well, we're not getting stab off of it, so I guess that makes sense. We'll fly again. I think Dark Pulse would be great against uh, Dinkus. Again, I think they usually start with a Haunter, or Gengar, or whatever they have at the time. Okay. Nothing special here. Except for this. Rare candy. Cool. I need to get a level real quick. Let's go ahead and check for some of them. Let's hop down this place and see what's here. Because I know there's some other stuff that we were... Huh! Okay. Cool. It's like I showed up as a dead body. Here we go, this is what I was looking for. Earthquake! I can teach someone Earthquake. Awesome! Is there something...? There was something down there, I just don't know what. Fly! You can't hit what isn't there! Oof. Poison Fang. Nothing up here, I guess. Well, I don't want you fighting that at all. Why not? He slammed me. I used my revenge. Critical. That's pretty good. Alright. So, it looks like other than that one thing that we missed by going down the wrong 
tunnel thing, we've gotten pretty much everything that uh, we could get here. So... Very close to the end. Let's make sure everyone's healed up, ready to go, because someone is going to be coming down the pipe to kill us. Wow. it's actually really good. Oh, no. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fucking hate Gravelers. Geodudes and Gravelers. Fucking self-destruct bullshit. Oh. Well, I need to find someone else to do Rock Smash and Strength now. Fan fucking tech. God damn it. Okay. We're at the end of Victory Road. No, nope, someone had to die in the beginning and someone had to die at the end. And here's where we are. So Dingus should be right here. I didn't turn on the thing. Shit. Yes, I'm gonna challenge the Pokemon League. Yeah, well, I, hey, I actually did notice that. That's actually kind of an interesting point that you're making. Yeah, okay. I'm glad you're finally admitting that there's a bug, okay. Hmm. Your track record's not good, man. It's really not good. I know you probably think of yourself as very, very, very powerful, but... You're not. Ironically, the U-turn still works here. Oh, count 36. I... Damn. Um... Oh god, I put out. I feel like our best bet for now is Sloan. They're very tanky, so... But, you know, he took down that Sneasel anyway, so, whatever. Hmm, this is not what I wanted you to come in against, unfortunately. Let's get that Fallen Blue back in there. Curse. Course. Hate that. Uh, we're gonna Dark Pulse for now, and whenever the next one comes out, we'll U-turn. Oof, automatically triggers. Actually, here, the U-turn actually kind of works. We are one-shotting off U-turns with this guy. I'm gonna throw Sloan back in, because I still think they're probably our best option in as far as tanking some stuff, and I think most of the things that are gonna affect Sloan are gone. So, that's good. Nope, I was wrong. Every time I put Sloan in, they're like, hey, let's throw in something that's gonna be very bad for them. Yeah. But, hey. You have that reaction. Magnet bomb. Ooh. Damn. I have Earthquake, though. So, <laughs> that's not going to work for you. Okay. Yep. There's that. So. Question comes down to Sloan or Bounce. I'm gonna go with Sloan. They got the higher level, they got the resistance to a couple different things. Unless it's got Bite, which it might, but. Yeah, like that's not too bad. We got the. We also have the. Um, we could flash them a couple times. That could work. Crunch. 
Oh, wow, that was actually not terrible. I'm gonna flash them. I'm hoping, praying to God they don't crit. We're gonna have to heal. We're gonna have to heal. I know that much. Um. That's not gonna give you full health, but. Flash them again. We can handle this. Just flash again. Okay, they're starting to miss. That's good. I'm gonna do it one more time. This should like lower them to their lowest level of accuracy. So now we're gonna heal. Make sure that they're in tip-top fighting condition to deal out the final blows. Okay, it's still hitting, but. No, might not hit. Okay, still hitting. Maybe gain that little bit from that. Okay, cool. Alright, I think we got him. We almost got him. Come on, one more. No crit, no crit, no crit. Okay, no crit. I'm having such bad luck with crits lately. <sighs> Alright. All right. Who's your last guy? Gold Bat? Eh. Might have a dark attack. I'm a little worried about that. Zippy can handle him, though. Zippy should make an appearance. He's the starter. Well, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, you did. I bet he did tell you some stuff. Well, you know, it's good to have dreams. Okay. At least you're not being a complete asshat this time around. I'll give him that much. Ha! <sighs> Alright. We are here. The Indigo Plateau. <sighs> Means we gotta do something. First and foremost, we need someone to learn Strength and Rock Smash. Who, though? See, I feel like it should be someone that I know I'm not really gonna use. This is tough. I mean, I'm not gonna use a Persian, I don't think. Let's see if they can learn this stuff. What's up, Arnie? I'm doing okay. Oh, you want to battle? Alright, might do that. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I got a fight from somebody. Arnie from Route 35. Might have to go see them. First, though, let's finish up what we're doing here. See if they can learn. I want to make sure they can learn both, so let's let's check this one first and this one probably a bit of a game. Yeah, no, it can't. So uh, uh, right. You know you could probably do it? Mama Bear. Okay, I don't want to use the deposit feature. You always want to use the move feature. I don't know why anyone would think anything else would be true. Nope, not that one. That one. Got them hands. Okay, Rock Smash. It can without a doubt learn strength. If I'd be so surprised if it can learn strength. Mm. No, I don't need 
need sweet scent. Okay. And strength. Damn it. We can probably learn cut too, but I think we're covered on that with somebody else. I forget who. Okay. Now it's time to really think a little bit. First. <sighs> Bone saw. I'm sorry, dude. You didn't deserve this, but... No. Goodbye. Okay. Well, I guess I have to bring out the strength person now, because... I do want to get that last item. It'll give us a little bit of time to think. About... Who's going to be... Going into the... You know what? I should do this real quick. Who's going to be going into the Elite Four? We have four people who are definitely going in. Um, but that still leaves two slots we're unsure of. <sighs> kind of a big question. We have a bunch of these. We have a couple of these. We can just use those to, to get back to where we were. I didn't heal. I'm being stupid. I mean, like, have, like, eight different things on my mind right now, because I'm trying to figure out, like, who would be the best option going into the Elite Four, like, because, like, here's the thing. This is the last episode before I start grinding. Next episode, we are going into the Elite Four. Like, there's no question about that. Um. So, yeah, it's a, it's a serious, like, consideration that I'm going to have to make now of, like, who's, who's it going to be? I'm just going to pop the repels, just to not have to deal with stuff. Where are they? I had them. There they are. that item? It was somewhere around here. I just don't remember where. Okay, so Mama Bear's already up to a de decent level, but I don't know if they're gonna learn that much that's gonna interest me for actually going in and fighting. It's somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh. Oh, it's down that way. Okay. So... I'm going to go up this way. Over. Down. Up. I mean, we were throwing out the possibility of having a normal type. Though, if I were going to choose one, I would probably choose Bobby D or Apocalypse Cow. Because I feel like they offer a little bit more in stuff like attack and stuff like that. And the options for um, move sets. I don't know. I really need to look into it. Okay, so we went down. We need to go this one. There is something here. We are right on top of it. PPF. Yeah, that's good. And this thing. HP up. It's also good. Alright, looks like we got everything out of here. Unless there was something, like, right here at the end. Nope. Wasn't. 
That would have been bad. That would have been stupid. Okay, so. <sighs> Anything out here? Hmm. Probably not, but. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. Something. Right here? Right here. Rare can. Wow. That's just there, huh? Nothing else. Around this area a little bit? No. No, just a flowery area. Okay. Wait a minute. This is... This is a different area. I can catch something here. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to catch one more thing at the Indigo Plateau. I think there's only, like, one thing that I haven't caught out of a tree yet. No, one of these has to do it. This is just me putting off having to decide who's gonna fill the other two slots for uh, the Elite Four. Because, like, I don't know. I don't know who I have here. Because, like, I need to... If if it was just people that I enjoyed using, I would probably bring out uh, Clancy. But, like, we already have Sloan for water and stuff like that. So... And it's not like... They're going to bring a whole lot to the table outside of their water type. That Sloan wouldn't already bring. Maybe some physical attack. We have other physical attackers. Like, as soon as we level them up, Iggy's going to be amazing with that Earthquake ability. Um. Damn. Really nothing here? Can't catch anything? Come on. Last one. Last one. Can you really not catch anything at the Indigo Plateau? I'm gonna look this up real quick, because these, these are trees that you can catch things out of. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, maybe you can't. Well, that sucks. Oh well. So where are we at then? Figuring out who's gonna... Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck! Repel! I had Repel on! Alright, let's hang on. Let's try this again. Sorry if I'm like, this is seeming tedious to everyone. I forgot about the Repel. I don't think the headbutt, like... The repel thing shouldn't work for the tree that I don't know. Come on. Come on, something. If I get something out because I didn't have the repel on now, that's gonna be funny to me. Come on. Almost there. I'm just gonna have to, like, do a comparison list of, like, every Pokemon that I have and, like, break down what they can learn at what level and all that sort of stuff. You know, how high their stats are gonna be a certain... Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to, like, really do some statistics to figure out who I'm gonna be bringing in for these other two slots. Because, to some degree, it's just gonna have to be, like, who's the most useful. Because I don't have a personal connection to a lot of the ones in the box right now. I 
also gonna have to figure out who's gonna like lead against each elite four member because we got what a psychic fighting poison um is ice still a thing i don't know that ice is a thing anymore Lance is the champion, so... We gotta deal with the dragons. Psychic, fighting, poison, there's one other. Is it not... Is it? I think it's another ice type, which I might be able to just work with with what I got with Iggy... Or not Iggy, um, Zippy. Yeah, there's really nothing to catch here. That is a shame. Well, anyway... Regardless of all that, um, I guess we'll see you guys next time, and we will be fighting the Elite Four. You'll see who we have for our team, and, you know, we'll go down and go up and take on the champs. See you next time. Bye-bye.